Nashville Zoo's Spider Monkey exhibit is getting a new addition to their family. Davis Nolan tells us about baby daddy and some of her exciting personality. There are a lot of cute animals at the Nashville Zoo, but none cuter than Dottie, their first baby spider monkey. We have five Mexican spider monkeys here at the zoo, so with our littlest one being almost five months old, and we finally were able to name her. Uh, so spider monkeys are not sexually dimorphic, so there's no difference between males and females, so we had to wait many months to actually figure out if she was a boy or a girl. We had to wait for her to move off mom so we could actually see, and so we found out that she's a girl. And uh, we decided to name her Dottie after Dottie Frist. Um, she's a generous supporter of the zoo, and she funded our spider monkey exhibit. And so we thought that that would be a really great way to honor her with our first spider monkey baby. And baby Dottie is now checking out her fellow spider monkeys. Right now we have mom, Molly, dad, Sandy, and then we have two other females, Poppy and Chloe. So mom spider monkeys do, do all of the caring. So they are not like other primates that'll go with other family members. They're just with mom. But Dottie is getting to the point where she's like checking them out. So she's like feeling their faces and their fur to kind of figure out who her other family members are. So she is doing a little bit of that now, but she's still going to be only with mom um, for up until almost four years old. Naturally, Baby Dottie is the most popular of the spider monkeys at the zoo, but what else makes them so much fun to watch? So I think just the way they move, um, the way that they swing through the trees, they use all of their limbs and all of their in their tails. I think that people just get a kick out how they move and swing through the ropes and the branches. Their tail is probably one of their coolest adaptations. So it's a prehensile tail, so they can hang from it. Our spider monkeys often will just hang from their tails, just casually hanging out. And as usual, the Nashville Zoo is working with the Species Survival Program, which is helping out with spider monkeys. They're considered endangered, which is a step down from critically endangered, mostly due to deforestation and loss of habitat. For spider monkeys specifically, obviously, um, Participating in the breeding program is a way that we can help because that means we're keeping the numbers and diversity good in human care. So we work with genetics to make sure everybody is uh, not related. So we've got the best diversity in case we need to reintroduce into the wild. Um, so it's a good way we're helping out with spider monkeys. The best time to see the spider monkeys is in the morning when they first let them out into the exhibit and in the evening before they go inside. For this week's Zoopalooza, I'm Davis Nolan, News 2. An 